you very much. It's a great opportunity for me. I'll try to be brief, but of course, it's a, for Wall Street today is a very strange day because you have the two aging societies, one beginning this morning, the other one Japan at the closing of your day. So I will be here trying to explain that Italy is a young country, young, trustable country. And of course, I'm here also to present you some uh, ideas for the future of the country. First of all, we are trying to continue on the path uh, of the fiscal consolidation. Italy's uh, big debt, of course, is a big problem for us. We know very well, but it's a manageable problem. I think you can uh, easily <clears throat> check with the figures. We have a big debt, but the debt didn't raise uh, so much in the period of the crisis, uh, and the debt is a manageable one today. Wh why? Because we decided to continue in the fiscal consolidation. Today we have a deficit rate that is around uh, 3%, and this 3% uh, brings Italy among the virtuous countries in uh, Europe. That is for us, uh, we are proud of it because it's very important for us to continue to be virtuous and we will continue to, take the, the, to maintain the engagements with, uh, with the European Union on the, fee, on the deficit. And also on the um, primary surplus, Italy is around 2.5, that is important for us and we will continue uh, on that. So we think to have a manageable situation for what is linked to the fiscal consolidation path. Of course, the main problem of Italy is the lack of growth. And we know very well that is the main problem of the country. Lack of growth and uh, the raise of the unemployment. First of all, the youth unemployment. That is for me personally and for uh, my government the true nightmare of the country. Because we had in this five years crisis uh, the youth unemployment raising until the 40%. That is the true nightmare for the country. This is why many young, very high-skilled Italians come to uh, New York and to the States, of course. We are very happy of that, but we would like to give them also opportunity to, uh, to stay in Italy and to have opportunity to work uh, in Italy. So, um, growth, how to have the, the recovery, how to continue this process. We decided to have in these four months, four and a half months of work, uh, of my government to have three main initiatives for pushing growth. The first one is uh, a decision taken with the Montes government uh, to pay the debt of the public administrations to the uh, small, medium-sized enterprises and to the, uh, all the private companies in Italy. That is around 50 billion euros, 30 billion euros in the year 2013, and we already paid on this 30, uh, 11 today, yesterday, uh, and the rest, uh, the, the, the 19 remaining will be paid until uh, uh, December, and 20 more billion euros next year. That will bring, of course, that will push, and that will give a lot of uh, push to the um, to the economy, to, uh, to the system, and I am very confident of the consequence of that. The second one will be a big, important incentive for what is linked to, uh, to, youth, to the fight against youth unemployment. That is the crucial problem I uh, raise. It's a, problem, it's a specific problem, but it's a symbolic problem. It's a way to give hope to the country. This is why we decided to have uh, an extraordinary 18 months of big incentive with uh, uh, a big decreasing of the labor uh, taxes cost for youth employment. This extraordinary incentive started from August and we are confident of the uh, consequences, of course, of this big incentive. Third one is uh, an extraordinary 12 months of incentives for the house market um, uh, building and uh, anti-earthquake and ecological buildings and so on is a 65% of fiscal of tax incentives that is of course very uh, huge and it's something of uh, extraordinary for this very period for helping a field which was one of the 
worst in the crisis, of course, and some first results uh, are coming. Of course, all these three important initiatives we uh, took in these uh, four months are important to boost growth and to boost uh, recovery. Our figures are saying that uh, next year we will have 1.0 growth. The European Commission says 0.7 growth. We hope to reach our uh, goals and uh, our targets, and we will work to arrive at, at least to have one year of complete growth after years and years of uh, uh, difficulties. Of course, uh, to do that, it's necessary, it's absolutely necessary to continue on the path of fiscal consolidation, and I will uh, confirm the, the engagements on uh, uh, on the on the three uh, percent on the engagements with uh, with Brussels and Frankfurt, of course, but first of all, our main crucial point is how to push growth and how to have stability, political stability and stability in the markets. Because of course, with the debt we have, what is crucial is to have low uh, interest rates. That is life or debt. And of course, we were close to death some years ago when interest rates raised until 7%, uh, uh, 8%. Today we are around 4, 4.5%. And we would like to arrive, of course, next year to reach 2%. Uh, percent. That is uh, the heaven. Why the heaven? Of course, because of the sustainability of the debt and because of the push for investments. This is why I am trying to push for stability, st political stability, first of all, that is crucial in a country which is not uh, used to be very stable. We, we like five in Italy since uh, centuries, and, uh, but we have to convince people that peace is better, and uh, peace is the is the possibility to have growth, to have uh, jobs, uh, to have investments, and so on. This is why we presented, and thank you for 